What's going on everyone? Gamer King Tario here with another episode of Vita Talk where we talk about all things PlayStation Vita. Today I'm going to take a closer look at MLB The Show 2013, newly released yesterday on both the PlayStation 3 and the Vita. Opening day is right around the corner for baseball, but to me opening day truly begins with the release of MLB The Show each and every year. Last year's MLB The Show was easily my most played game on my Vita, and I had it down as one of my Game of the Year nominees, so I was really excited to see if they could outdo themselves. My plan is to do a full review of both games as a package, similar to what I did with Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. I should have the review up this weekend and possibly earlier, but I did want to make this video and show off some of the Vita specific concerns that I had going in, and hopefully this will answer some of the questions you guys have about the Vita version and see if it's worth picking it up or if it's worth upgrading over last year's version. The first thing I want to talk about is a technical standpoint, and that's MLB The Show shows a marked improvement in graphical and visuals over the preceding game. It definitely looks a lot better, it's still nowhere near up to the console version by any means, but it doesn't look as compressed and washed out as the previous version. More importantly though is even with the improved visuals, the performance of the game is much improved. I had played so much of the previous version that I had basically trained my brain to completely ignore all of the slowdown and performance issues. The Show 13 has improved upon these so that the game feels much more fluid and it doesn't even feel like it's taxing the Vita at all. On a related point, when I saw the preview of the changes that were coming to the road to the show proper, one of the key upgrades was the new dynamic field and cameras. When I first saw this, I kind of shuddered. Quick changing dynamic camera angles have never been the friend of the Vita when it comes to performance, and I even wondered if they'd be able to put this in the Vita version at all. Thankfully, they've come through with the Vita on flying colors with no performance issues with this dynamic camera at all. I'll talk more about how they affect the gameplay in the full review, but as someone who generally plays center field, they really add a cool feeling to playing the position that was lacking in previous games. One of my complaints in the first version of the game was that the Road to the Show version was strictly functional. It worked excellent, but it didn't have any of the flair play in the console version. To me, there was something missing, and it felt very robotic. This has been bumped up a little bit in MLB The Show 2013. It's still nowhere near the console version with commentary-specific replays and such, but it is a nice step up to see your player actually round all of the bases and high-five the third base coach and watch him walk up to the plate when he's up for a big at-bat. While the show 13 is unfortunately not a cross-buy title, the amazing cross-save feature does come back in full force, and it works flawlessly. It's real simple to just pick up your franchise, upload it to the cloud, take it up on your Vita, and then take it with you wherever you go. Most of the other smaller gameplay tweaks, like the between-the-moment game cast on Road to the Show, or the ball tail feature, or the fielding meter mechanics all make it over to the Vita in fine style as well. This helps smooth the transition and limits the adjustment players have to make when switching back and forth between the two platforms. One thing of note for the cross-save feature is that in order to use it, both of the MLB The Show PlayStation 3 version and the Vita version have to have the online pass activated. So keep that in mind for any of you guys who are out there thinking about picking up one of the two versions on the cheap or picking it up used, that you are going to need to have the online passes for that to work. Well, that's it for the video, everyone. I hope it answers some of your questions that you may have had regarding MLB The Show on the Vita version. Stay tuned for my full review of MLB The Show 13 this weekend. And thanks for watching. Take care and leave me your comments down below. Let me know if you're thinking about picking up MLB The Show or if you've already got it, if you're going to get the Vita version or however you're going to do it. And let me know. Thanks for watching again. Take care.